Hey, what's up guys? It's Luke, Black Sheep 217 on Pokemon the Trading Card Game online and at Zoom Battle Gym on Facebook. I'd love to friend you on both those places so we can chat or hang out, play a game. Any of those things would be so cool. So check me out over there. I'd love to connect with you in that way. And today, I actually located a box of Ore Beetle V. Um, this is the Ore Beetle V box. It comes with one foil promo card featuring Ore Beetle V. Oversized card of that same one. Four trading card packs and a code card, of course. So that's what's inside this box and collection. I picked it up at Walmart. They actually had a whole big stack of them. I just took one to check it out because I'd not gotten this one. I'd seen it before. I've always sort of hesitated when getting this one. But since it was the only thing there, I just had to pick it up. So let's see if we can get anything good in this um, collection little box here. Now let's check out the Ore Beetle card first. I'm always interested in playability and if um, cards are good for play. So let's see if this Ore Beetle holds up or not. Okay, let me pull the packs aside. We'll take a look at the packs in just a second. But I do want to pick out the big Ore Beetle card and the small one. So here is the big one. Boy, that's a massive card. And then, of course, here is the small one. And this is the one that you can actually put. Let me kind of zoom in here, manually zoom in, but there it is. The Ore Beetle V card. Actually, let me read off the big one so I don't have to turn it around. It has Strafe. You may switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So that's really cool. It kind of has a built-in runaway feature with that attack. And then it also has a Mysterious Wave. This attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, so it kind of punishes the opponent if their Pokemon has like lots of energy on them. I've played some decks where, in standard format, people just load up Pokemon with energy. So that might be a good attack. Or Beetle might be a sort of a good counter to that type of thing. All right, put those aside. And let's take a look at the packs that we get in this one. We get some current packs, which is really cool. So first of all, well, this one's not very current. This is uh, the oldest pack of the bunch. This is Sun and Moon. So we get a Sun and Moon pack to open up. That's nice, though. Always like opening up these. We have Darkness Ablaze, which is always a good pack. Lots of good things to find in there. And then we have two very current Vivid Voltage Packs. And these are really hard to find right now. People are just gobbling these up. <laughs> gobble, gobble. I mean, they're just being eaten alive. You can't even find these at the store. They're so hard to find. So I am so glad to open up two and hopefully get something good in these. So let's go ahead and crack these four packs open, see if we can get anything good out of them. Okay, here are the packs. We're going to start with Sun and Moon. Let's see if we can get anything good, good out of the Sun and Moon pack. I'm very unfamiliar with this set. We're starting with Zubat. This is, of course, I just started collecting recently, so I, I know my Vivid Voltage and I know my Darkness of Blaze, but Sun and Moon I'm definitely not as up on. So we're starting off with the Cosmog uh, Reverse Hollow. And then uh, Masquerade is the rare card. Double colorless, and then we end with a Granville. All right, Vivid Voltage. Really enjoyed this set, Vivid Voltage. Who we got here? We got Regirock. Regirock. Oh, you know, I skipped right over the Puchiana. So the Pusheena was our reverse holo. I was like, what's going on? Sometimes with these, um, the black background, you can't even tell. I, sometimes I mess that up. Okay, Regirock Foil Holo. Shiny. <laughs> All those words for the Regirock. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's do our second Vivid Voltage Pack. And we have... Sumerat is our rare reverse, and this is a this guy's a pain in the butt to face, especially in the team deck format. 
His shell armor is so powerful, and he has 160 um, hit points. Really good. And then we got Flareon as the regular rank. All right, cool. And we have our final pack here, Darkness Ablaze. What are we going to find in our Darkness Ablaze pack? We'll see. We have uh, Larvitar. This is our regular Reverse Hollow. And an Ampharos. Ampharos is our rare. So nothing too crazy, I would say, out of these booster packs. Um, we had our Orbital V. And the other card that I actually really liked was the Samurai. I think those were my two favorite cards from this opening. Orbital being, of course, a V Pokemon, kind of a special card, a promo card that you get. And the Samurai is something I've faced quite often in theme decks. Um, really good card there. I'm not sure how good it is in standard, but I do think he's a cool Pokemon. Thanks for watching this opening. I'll see you next time.